Okay, so I've shown you guys the gold cube, the blue bowl. Now this guy here is known as a Miller table. This isn't a very good one. Really, I need a bigger, longer Miller table. It works, but it's not great. Uh, someday I'll make myself a better one. The different gold recovery machines have different applications. Obviously the gold cube is when you have lots of stuff to go through. The blue bowl is great for fine stuff. It works for coarser stuff too, but it's just slow. Uh, the Miller table here works really well on very, very flat gold. Uh, gold that comes from one of my hard rock mines, which is really uh, like round and big and bumpy, just rolls right off the Miller table. It doesn't, does not work well. But flat gold works real well on the Miller table because it lays down flat onto the flat sheet and then the water flows over top of it. Um, it is a very simple tool. All it is is a very, very, very flat sheet with a thin layer of water flowing over top. And uh, the thin layer of water is enough, has enough energy to move away the round particles of black sand. But the flat flakes of gold, they lay down flat on that sheet and then the water flows over top keeping the gold there. You have to set it up just right at the just right angle, just the right uh, flow of water so that the gold flakes don't get up into the water flow and start flittering around and go away. Uh, and a longer Miller table actually helps with that. If they do get up there flittering around, they have a chance to fall down and lay flat. Good question there? Is, that, is this what the guys on Alaskan Gold Rush use, except like a bigger version? No, they're using what's called a shaker table, oh, okay. uh, which is a, a larger scale machine. Oh, okay. So let's put a bit of the, the cons on here. And you can see the black going away. The black is just going away. And neat thing about the Miller table is you can actually get in there and play with it a little bit. Move things around, let it go. And you'll see that, okay, there's a chunk of gold that just flittered away. That's why I have this attachment thing. Um, you'll see the gold that's laying down flat up here and water's just floating over. You'll see some that got up and moved a little bit, but caught down on the tray. And again, the slower you run this, the less angle, less water, the better it is uh, at catching a higher percentage of the gold. Where, But you guys don't want to watch it for hours doing its thing. So it's running a bit quick right now. See the gold, there's quite a bit of it up there being caught. Some people take a little uh, paintbrush and actually push the gold around as it's running. Because you can actually take this gold and then push it all into a pile, or I have little grooves cut in this that you can push it into the groove. Um, I've found that as I push it around, I tend to see more and more flutter down. Again, I need a longer table. So I don't play with it too much. I just, uh, all I play with is the black sand at the top, trying to break it up so it goes away. This is kind of a pleasant one. You can just sort of sit here calmly do it. My table's on a little bit of an angle right now. You should try to get as flat as possible. Remember this material is the larger stuff. I put, I ran the finer stuff through the blue bowl to show you that blue bowl in action. This is the slightly larger stuff. Like a zen garden. Like a zen garden. Just sit and watch. Or a rock garden. see some of the flakes are getting down here, some are going right down to the bottom. That's why I have this extra catchment bin here. I'll actually take this stuff and we'll, we'll rerun it later, make sure I didn't lose too much. Someday I'll make one of these things that's a, a lot longer than this, two or three feet long rather than just this one foot.
I also have this machine set up to vibrate. I've got a vibrating uh, mechanism on here that it can actually start shaking uh, the whole thing. It helps the black sands go away a bit quicker. It also makes the gold go down. It also makes some of the gold start to travel down. And there goes the piece. And there goes the ribbon. So instead, we're just going to let it do its thing slowly. Piling up, down. Piling up. That's because I'm on a bit of an angle. I got my angles a little bit wrong here. Um, and the water flow is going off onto one side. Let's see if I can adjust that a little bit. Probably just the way it's sitting on this uh, stool. It'll be okay. 